is Renee Rabbit of Rabbit Design. If you're looking for a SKU based pricing system, maybe you came over from 2020 or you're a cabinet vendor or your cabinet reseller, I can build you out a system that will match your indexed SKU based system. So um, if you've got a cut sheet or a price list coming from your vendor, I can go ahead and index that price list and then incorporate it into a series of five macros that builds out a system that dynamically labels and prices your cabinets on the fly. And I'll just show you how this works. What I mean by dynamic is that as you resize or you change the configuration for a particular cabinet, say that I spray this as a two drawer box cabinet, if it doesn't match a SKU based um, indexed item from your pricing list, then it's gonna revert it to a custom cabinet. And this is my pricing above here. So I have a user configurable macro that's really easy to navigate. And that is for configuring a custom cabinet pricing. Um, what I'm figuring is that when you're building out a, a kitchen or a bathroom that, you know, 99% of the way you're going to be using um, your, your own cabinet vendor, but sometimes you need custom pricing. So in that case, when you've got a custom cabinet, it reverts to that if it doesn't find a match to your SKU based pricing. And then on top of that, this is finished based as well. So we took uh, just this cut list or excuse me, not cut list, price list, for example, and this price list, we can indicate here that we've got a bunch of SKUs, we've got parameters that match those SKUs, and then we have finish options. So I give you all of those same options in a toolbar that is single click buttons to apply those options to your cabinets. So in this case, we can see here as this is dynamic, we see that if I drag this forward, we're getting into custom, but there's a couple of different parameters that are matching here. And so it's picking up that SKU based pricing. So on top of this, and I'll just take this as an example. I'm gonna revert this back to a default finish in this case, so a paint grade finish. So you're gonna see here that that changed the pricing on this particular item. I'm also gonna change everything back to a default markup. So I'm gonna spray this whole room and now there's no markup on any of these cabinets. So I give you some tools to add markup on the fly and I'll give you an example of that. Here's a 25% markup. I'll switch to a marquee mode and I'm gonna add that to these two cabinets only. There we go, we see that dynamically changed. And then on top of that, I give you some sprayer tools that work both in 3D mode and in your plan view where I can spray just this cabinet and I'm changing the finish of this cabinet, which changes the variable pricing. So this system is really dynamic. It's built with three user configurable macros. Those are isolated away from my core base cabinet macros and my base cabinet macros you get my kitchen tools with this, which means that we get single click sprayers for two drawer base, three drawer base, um, two, two door full height double doors, right? A uh, single full height double door. Uh, we've got a, cat, a garbage pull out custom sprayer. And then on top of that, it'll even do pricing for stuff like a dishwasher panel, etc. So single click actions to build out an entire kitchen with your SKU based pricing. Uh, so let me know if you're interested in this or just check out the listing and thanks. I just need to have a conversation with you and I can format you a schedule that will print out the same way as your order forms might print out. So you can just send that straight to a CAD detail, print that and send it straight to your cabinet vendor and get your order from there. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.